Hi, this is John from Proper Coils, and today we're having a look at the Keo from MT Essentials and Van and Dell Design. So here we have the Keo from MT Essentials and Van and Dell Design. This is the second collaboration between the guys. They've already released the Har RTA, which I have a video on. Make sure you go to check that out. The name Keo is Gaelic for mist or fog, which is very apt for a vape device. In the baggie here, we have some O-rings, some post screws, an Allen key, and a rubber seal that can go on the bottom of the bower device to help with condensation so we're going to be using that and we'll use the allen key later on so here we have the device nothing else in the box we get rid of that so here is the borrow tank so the capacity of this is four mil and the you have mt essential logo here you have keo nothing on the back the tank is a p PC-1000 and this will fit any de billet, box, billet box device that is compatible with billet boxes. There has been some issues recently I've seen where it might not fit in some of the new billet boxes to have the, the painted finish on the inside. So if you have one of those it might not fit but it should fit any other board device. Um, so to fill you, there is a side the mechanism here just to grommet if it and it should pop out so you can fill from here four mil capacity to 510 tread on the bottom here and which is handy obviously because you, you can burn in your coil without having to use an adapter which is good on the bottom here you have keo 2021 and the serial number here is 120. your deck pops out just by o-rings here everything's sort of sealed with o-rings but before we go through the deck we'll go through the rest of it so you can just take it apart by pulling it apart so you've got your o-rings here this is where your juice is going to hit your coil so it's going to come down these down these holes here your coil is going to be here a fairly condensed chamber which should be good should be good for flavor your airflow inside airflow but it's hidden more at the bottom of the coil than anything and airflow wise you have or this is the mouch lung setup so there's a insert here without the insert it is five mil wide and one mil up and down and with the insert in with the mouch lung insert each hole is 0 0.6 mil so i've been using a predominantly mouch lung and it gives a decent mouch lung vape but i'll go through that more in detail when I get to putting in the coil and stuff. So the rest of the tank just is press fit with O-rings. And we can take this apart even more. The bore of the chimney is 5 mil. Again, all, all held together nice and tight with O-rings. Uh, fit and finish and how everything goes, well, goes together is very good. I've had no issues with anything being loose or too tight or everything sort of clips in very good so that's your tank formal capacity again now the one issue i had straight away when i seen the deck was the staggered posts as a coil builder uh, and i know most coil builders wrap the coils clockwise these are for anti-clockwise wrapped coils uh, i've seen this with a few devices and it's a bit of an oversight, I think. Not a, look, not a massive deal, not a deal breaker, but it's just something I will point out as a coil builder that if they're going to stagger the posts, I'd rather they stagger them the opposite way. So the high post, in my opinion, should be this side, low post this side. Pr preferably for me, I just like them at level. Uh, most coil builders, uh, most coil builders that I know have 
the coils coming in parallel anyway. But uh, yeah, just look a small thing, not a major, not a deal breaker, but I'll point it out. The way the the way the juice hits your coil. So I'll hold and hold this together. There we go. So your you fill your tank, your juice is going to drop down into these channels, and then it's going to hit your cotton. Uh, I watched Mark's review, and he suggested splitting your split not splitting but taking a small portion of your cotton and setting it in the channel which it which it definitely is a good idea if you don't do that it's going to pool here and there's going to be more chance that some is going to escape and leak through your airflow um i have noticed i've had a lot i've had this bit a week and a half and i've tried mouse along i've tried restricted right lung different coils three 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 millimeter coils 2.5 for me 2.5 is the best for restricted right lung and mouse along the only downside with that is it doesn't give you it give obviously gives you less cotton to work with but if you work it properly which i'll show you is how i do it uh, you should be fine i did have issues my first three builds it took me about three builds definitely three builds to get this working the way i wanted without any issues the first is first issue i had was i had too much cotton in this area here and it was overlapping onto the this area here and and because this flat area meets this area here and covers this it was wasn't making a proper seal because i had cotton sitting around here so make sure your cotton's tucked in here make sure you have plenty of cotton in this area here and then a little tail here and that's how i've been doing it and it's been working pretty good on probably the third or fourth go i have had, haven't had any issues since then i've been using this predominantly mouth to lung and the reason for that is it is the five mil, five mil by one mil opening for me is just slightly too tight for a nice direct lung. I my go to RTA or or device for direct lung is a dwarf FLDL RTA, and that has a lot more airflow than this in restricted direct lung mode. And so I've been using it predominantly for mouth lung, and I've been finding it a very good vape once I once I nail the wicking down. So we are going to slap a mouth along fused clapton from prop coils, of course. So it's is it's two cores of 30 gauge cantal wrapped in 38 gauge cantal and it is 2.5 2.5 inner diameter and it, it'll ohm out at point one or oh, sorry point eight normally single coil, but I'm going to have to add half a wrap so the legs are coming out the same direction so it's probably going to be more like a 0.9 or 1 ohm um but we'll see when we get our burnt in so let's get uh building this
So that's basically how I've been wicking it and finding it the best. So I've got a little tail here and I've got this area full of cotton, but it's flush with this here. And then most, the majority of the cotton is in this area here, either side of the, either side of the coil. That's been working best for me. When I originally wicked it, I didn't have a tail here and I was putting too much cotton here and I wasn't making a proper seal. But uh, this is how I've been using it mouth along. Same same way doing it uh, restricted rack lung. Uh, I didn't wick any different for restricted rack lung and it was working well also. So that is how I wick it. I am going to pop some juice in this. I'll stick it in the... We'll be sticking this in the... SXK billet box. Uh, no fancy expensive billet boxes for me. I've got the 70 watt um, SXK version here, so it'll work perfectly fine in this. So we're going to use this and then I'll bring it back up top and I'll give you my pros and cons. So this is the little rubber gasket or grommet you can put on the bottom of the 510. This will help with condensation. If I seen in Mark's uh, presentation video that if you do own a Delro that you just cut this little slot out here, just cut it cut it out with a knife and the airflow will work properly for for a Delro with no issues. Um I'm using an SXK billet box, so mine, mine will work fine. It'll come in the side here and straight up to the coil. So we're going to pop this in the SXK billet box. We'll stick a battery in. And she, she'll she pop in. No issues. It's a tight fit, but it's it's not a, not a problem. It, uh, it fits very well. There we go. And we'll pop our, pop our screw in and 510. So it ended up the coil sitting at 0 0.97, which is where I was expecting adding the extra half a wrap. So that's the Keo sitting in the SXK billet box. We've it wicked up, juiced up and coiled up. Let's bring it back up top and I'll give you my pros and cons of the Keo by MT Essentials and Van and Dell Design. So we're back up top with the Keo by Van and Dell Design and MT Essentials, we have the measure lung set up here and it's coming out at 0 0.92, 17.5 watts. And you can see there, there's no leaking, no condensation. That's been setting for about 45 minutes to an hour because I was putting my son to bed in between recording this. So um, that's a good sign. So that that's the same wick that I put, had in the down low. Uh, no condensation, no leaking, and it was sitting for a while. So the I'll go through the cons first and then I'll go through the pros. The first con I'll say is the it's for me now it's not difficult to wick, but I can see how some people might have issues with it. There's a certain way of doing it. Once you get that down, it's it's been, I, I've had no issues since then. So if you follow what I did on the down low, you should have no no issues with condensation, no issues with leaking. Um, I haven't, ever since I've tried that method, I've I've had no problems whatsoever. But I can see how it will be. It takes, it's a bit fiddly and it can take a bit of time to get used to it. Uh, another con would be the fact that this, it's not a huge deal. And uh, Mark did mention it in his presentation video. But the fact that the posts are staggered. I don't mind posts being staggered, but if they're staggered, the wrong way. I I do mind that as a coil builder. Nine, I'd say ninety percent of coil builders wrap in a clockwise way, and they are and they are more for an anti-clockwise coil. Not a huge deal. You get your coil in. It's not like it's not it's not the end of the world. But 
it's just a bit of an annoyance more than anything else. The inserts, you get, you get one match long insert, the uh, three holes, 0 0.6. I'd like to see one where it's two holes, 0 0.6. Maybe that's something they're going to come out with in the future. The match long vape for me is fine. I'd like to see what it'd be like if it was, if you had that option of two 0 0.6s. Slightly tighter, I think I'd like personally. But the three holes work well and I'm, it, I'm very happy with how it works match long. Um, the ceramic blasted finish, it's nice, uh, it's it's finished well, it looks good, but I prefer uh, polished or brushed stainless steel, and I'd like to have that option, maybe something again that I can do in the future. Um, I It's just a preference, some people like, like that look, and some people like um, ceramic, the ceramic Blast luck, some people would like the brushed uh, or polished stainless steel, which I prefer. So having that option would have been nice. That is, um, that's all the cons. Pros wise, formal capacity is very good, uh, especially if you're using the mount so long, it's going to last you all day. The fit and finish is very good, although there's, it's all held with O-rings. You might think there might be issues, but everything fits tight. Uh, everything's snug, nothing's going to come loose. Um... It all works very well. The fact that you get a mouth long option um, and a restricted rack long option is obviously a pro. The insert, the zero, three zero point six holes in the insert give you a... It's not a super tight mouth long. As I said, in the cons, more inserts would be nice. Um, but it's it's a tight mouth long, but it's not super tight. So some of the, like, some of the guys that like a 0 0.8 really tight mouth long vape, this is this is not going to give you that, but it's not far off it. Um, I'll give you the vape. If it was any way loose or at all, it'd be too loose. But it's just just and just tight enough for me anyway to yeah, to have a good, decent, mouth along vape. Hopefully those inserts come out uh, in the near future. I'll definitely be picking one up. The fact that there's a 5, 510 tread on the bottom of the borrow tank is good because it's fiddly. Some of the borrow tanks come with a adapter. This one doesn't need an adapter, so it's obviously a pro. The, the fact that you can just pop your base off and change your wick. You, you turn it upside down, pop your base off, and you can change your coil. You can You can play around with your wick or change your wick. Is definitely a pro. Um, having that accessibility to get at your coil and get at your wick. Uh, that's all the pros. There's one more pro, just particularly for myself and some of the guys that that pre-ordered the borrow tank. Uh, to our surprise, we had the poet RDA as an addition to the purchase, which none of us, I think, expected. Uh, don't mind the tear on the side. My son decided to play with that. Um, we got the poet uh, very unexpected and that was really nice of the guys. Thanks very much for that. That was brilliant. I'll throw up a review for that in the next week. I've been using that along. I've been using that as my direct, uh, restricted direct lung setup um, for the last week or two along with using this as my mouth lung setup. So I'll be throwing up a review for that in the next week. Uh, that is all the pros and cons. Overall, I think it's a really good device. Um, any of the negatives I had are small things. There's no major cons. Um, I think the guy has done another good job. I like the hair. Um, the, the airflow between the hair and this is very similar. And Todd did say, uh, Mark did say that in his review. And the the same as the hair as well. The fit and finish is really good. Price wise, this is coming in at seventy seven euro, and. I think it was 15 shipping, so it was just under 100 euro all in all. And getting the Poet, which is actually worth more than that, uh, along with it was pretty cool. So if you're looking to buy this, um, hit up um, Van and Dell's website and also other companies in Europe that are also selling them. Um, that was the review of the EO by MT Essentials and Van and Dell Design. If you like the reviews, make sure you hit the subscribe and notification bell. If you are looking for any handmade coils, make sure you head over to propercoils.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.